Her leopard print was your first hint. If she's got a tattoo, she's not for you. If her legs open wide, don't make her your bride. If her head tilts away, the pussy will stray. This one's been a long time coming. Today I'm going to be discussing a poet, dating guru, and body language analysis named Rivellino. That's how I'm gonna say it. I don't know if it's right, but let's just go with that. He's a guy on Twitter, an anonymous guy, who has takes. Every new pop that penetrates her ages her three to six months. Peculiar takes. But before we go any further, let me introduce myself. My name is Tara Mooney and this is the only channel on YouTube where all videos are written and produced by a cow. She couldn't be in the video today because she's at a femininity in body language workshop. It is imperative that we learn how we can use our hands in order to become more elegant and graceful ladylike women. How to be feminine with your hands if you're a human or with your hooves if you're a cow. But if you like and subscribe, she might appear in the next video. Before we continue, I'd like to talk about today's sponsor, Fabulous the number one self-care app to help you build better habits and achieve your goals. So I've been saying for ages that I'm going to take better care of myself, drink more water, do more exercise, eat healthier, practice mindfulness, spend more time with friends, and I haven't done that. I'm someone who needs lists, tasks, goals to get things done. Otherwise, I'll just forget. That's where Fabulous comes in. Fabulous makes it easy for anyone, even someone as unorganized as me, to develop and stick to healthy habits. The app provides daily routines that are achievable and make you feel a hell of a lot better about yourself. Just to explain how the app works, there's two approaches you can take. Firstly, there's the self-guided route, where you can pick among more than a hundred recommended habits or even create your own. Their second route is guided habit coaching with behaviour change programmes, digital coaching sessions and unlimited access to science-based exercises for fitness, meditation, productivity, if you go premium. My favourite feature though is the challenges feature. So there are several day challenges that are aimed to get you in better routines and habits. So I've been doing the 7 day declutter challenge. There's actually a 30 day version but I decided to go with the shorter version version just so I could dip my little toe beans in, you know, just try it out. And basically I set aside 20 minutes of the day to tidy different parts of the flat. And it even guides you on how to tidy, what things to tidy, you know, so it compartmentalizes it all, makes it more manageable, you know? And something that I just love is that the app reminds you if you're taking on too many habits and challenges. Because I'm a girl who likes to bite off more than she can chew. I'm working on it. So why don't you start building your ideal daily routine? The first 100 people who click on the link in my description will get 25% off their fabulous subscription. Give it a try, let me know what your goals are and I'll be cheering you on. The cow has been doing the 7 day yoga challenge and you might ask, Where's the footage from that Tara? You know, she's just self conscious about doing stretches on camera. But she is doing it, I promise. Anyways, thank you so much Fabulous for sponsoring today's video and remember to click the link in the description to get 25% off Fabulous Premium. Let's set the scene. It's May 2nd, 2020, 5.28 p.m. Not sure which time zone. And the location? Twitter.com. Alpha Rivellino posted two identical images of Icelandic strongman... Uh who played the mountain in Game of Thrones. The images show the strongman with his arm around his wife, Kelsey Henson. In the second image, green lines have been drawn over their bodies to highlight him leaning towards his wife. The caption, don't lean in, strongman. And it was there 
that the Don't Lean In meme was born. Fellas, is it gay to embrace a woman? Rivellino carries on the thread, arguing that men leaning towards women demonstrates weakness and neediness. This is a theory he calls sexual polarity, defined as the feminine wants to lean into the masculine. She wants to enter his world, feel his strength, feel his protection and submit to his guidance. Sexual polarity is the foundation for sexual attraction. Sexual polarity is the foundation for love. Next time I'm on a date with a guy, I'm just going to ignore all of the messages I got growing up about having, you know, good posture and instead just lean in like this. Might not get a second date, but Rivellino would be proud. He then got roasted to the nines and written about in the Daily Mail, the uh, section which is called Female. Oh boy. Uh, which he includes in his bio, incidentally. So, in a nutshell, he's one of those how to be alpha gurus by pathologizing the body language in photos of couples and the occasional rodent. And uh, would you be surprised if I told you that this guy's views on women were regressive? Would your jaw drop to the ground? The girl that needs a lot of makeup to look pretty. Is she pretty? She knows how to cook. She has a master's degree. If you want to turn your daughter into a slut, just send her off to college. For some reason, this guy hates tattoos. Every tattoo on her body represents 10 cocks in her mouth. So that's... 90 for me, I'm closing in on 100. One tattoo equals one abortion. Two tattoos equals two abortions. Three tattoos equals three abortions. Four tattoos equals four abortions. Five tattoos equals five abortions. See how it works? No, I don't actually. Five signs you might be losing her. One, she interrupts you when you talk. Two, she doesn't let you on her face. Three, she doesn't suck your with enthusiasm. Four, she doesn't say thank you when you help her. Five, she doesn't lean into you in photos. <laughs> The last one is extra funny to me because it's so minor compared to the other things. Also, even if she does do the right thing by leaning in, you know, in the photos, she can still go wrong in many other ways, according to Rivellino. Don't lean in, Jordan, and don't let her give you the claw. The claw. Well, now I'm insecure. What if you just have claw-like hands? Some of us girls just have little rat hands. We can't help it. Little boy kiss. Now, lads, say it with me. Fellas, is it, is gay, it gay to kiss, kiss a, woman? a woman? Maybe kissing a woman is the gayest thing you can do. I mean, it is gay when I do it, because I'm a woman. But maybe it's even gayer when a man kisses a woman? Because... Ugh, this is too big brain stuff for my puny little woman brain. Oh, and let me get to the main reason I'm making this video. Our man came after our pro-Palestine queen Dua Lipa. So this shit's personal. Our guy made a whole thread on her and it's got the same energy as Pierce Morgan endlessly talking about Meghan Markle. Her ass in a thong, her father did wrong. If she sticks out her tongue, she's not the one. Not really a rhyme, is it? You lean, you lose. No matter what you do, I'm gonna get it without ya. I know you ain't used to a female alpha, but don't get it twisted. He doesn't dislike Dua. He's coming from a place of love and concern. You really hate Dua Lipa. I love her. That's why I'm so tough on her. She had so much potential. Get a job! Stay away from her! But I'll give credit where it's due. I did manage to find tweets where I thought this is a perfectly reasonable take. If you're feeling down, don't get drunk, watch porn, play video games, eat junk food, make excuses, blame others, do exercise, write in your journal, eat healthy proteins and fats, take supplements, confide in someone you trust, 
take a dance class. I don't agree with all the points here, but the general sentiment does make sense. And I'm pleasantly surprised that he suggests taking a dance class. I thought he'd think that was too gay. Though I have to say, it would be tricky to do a dance class without doing any leaning whatsoever. And exercise. Exercise involves leaning. Taking supplements involves doing the claw. Well done, Rivellino. Maybe you're all right. She is like a child. I need to know what she really needs better than she does. Alrighty, never mind then. Now, I know this is just some silly man on Twitter, but it isn't just him. You see these sentiments a lot in all kinds of male orientated content. The kind of content that I like to call how to gender. So think Elliot Hulse. Fresh and fit. More like trash and shit. <laughs> Alpha M, etc, etc. And then on the flip side, you've got femininity training where you overanalyze every single body movement. You know, like how to be feminine with your hands. My response to all this is this. If you have to force these behaviours, maybe that implies this is all a load of bullshit. Maybe gender is a construct. Uh-oh, sound the alarms, crazy feminist alert. Someone better shut me up. All the misogynistic stuff is bad, of course. You've watched my channel. But the tweets that really left a bad taste in my mouth were the ones about Ukraine. Yeah, really. We saw this coming. I will now take Ukraine. People are dying because of Putin. So maybe praising him for being alpha is a dick move. Understatement of the century. Speaking of, I just want to mention the invasion of Ukraine. I will be donating to a few organizations helping those affected and I will link some resources in the description if you are able to donate too, but only if you're able to. Just make sure to keep informed because it's important stuff. To end on a high, I'd like to do today's subscription pet shout out. Today we've got a veteran blepper, or is that a mlem? It's an in-between, isn't it? Let's debate in the comments whether this dog is doing a blep or a mlem. Anyways, this is Indy who is 13 years old. He is a distinguished gentleman who loves peanut butter and he loves apples. What a sweetheart. Let's give Indy a round of applause. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out Fabulous. The first 100 people who click the link in my description will get 25% off Fabulous Premium. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a like because one like equals saving one woman from falling over because she's forced to lean like the fucking Tower of Pisa. All right, I'm off. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.